Okay, next we're going to load up our film. To do so, I'm just going to put it on its front side, okay? I'm going to just grab the film retrieval lever and pull it up, okay? You're going to notice that the, um, the latch at the side there just unlocked and that can just open up at the back. Okay, now we can look inside and see where we load the film. So we've got an area here uh, where the film goes in. Across to the right hand side, we've got the film um, the shutter curtain. Okay, if I just wind on the film, you'll see that shutter curtain move across. If I shoot the, uh, press the shutter button, you'll see that quickly opens and closes. That controls the amount of light coming through and hitting the film. Next to that, we have the sprocket teeth. Um, sprocket teeth sit in the sprocket holes on the film and they help wind on the film because the the end of the film just sits in the gap there on this last um cog spool, spool. that's it so let's grab the film okay today we're going to be shooting with delta or ilford delta 100 open up that and then we've got our canister flick that open nice and smooth We've done that before okay inside we've got our ilford ilford delta 100 so to load this up, we're actually going to kind of turn it upside down. Um, so the end point faces um, yourself or myself, and that's going to sit in there, okay? At the moment, that's loose and that could fall out. So I'm just going to push down the film retrieval lever there, and that's going to lock in. This isn't going anywhere. Next, I can pull my film across, okay? We'll notice that the sprocket holes now actually sit on the teeth um, here, okay? So that catches in there and it's going to help it wind across, but we need to make sure we tuck this into the spool. So let's just tuck that in, okay? If we just line that in on the teeth there, just put, use a finger to hold it down. And if I use the wind on lever, that's just going to come round, it's going to shoot one off, do it again, okay? And that's now catching and going round. I'm going to do that about three or four times to make sure, sure that's properly wound on. Okay, once I'm happy with that, I can then close the back, push it down, you can hear that lock catch again, and then we can turn it around, wind it on a few more times until the zero lines up with the sort of little silver dot there above. Okay, I'm gonna do it one more time. We're on one now, we're ready to shoot.